Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Quinn and Valor, Demacia's Wings. With high mobility and clever tricks, Quinn and Valor can chase down fleeing prey or escape from sticky situations. Throughout the game, you'll be playing as either Quinn, a ranged DPS with a crossbow, or Valor, a swift melee ranged eagle. Quinn's passive is Harrier. Every few seconds, Valor marks a nearby enemy, causing Quinn's next basic attack against the target to deal bonus damage. Harrier will always mark targets you're attacking, but if you're not hitting anything, then it will mark nearby enemy champions or low health minions. Blinding Assault sends Valor out in a line, stopping on the first enemy he encounters to damage and blind all nearby enemies. Note that if you're looking to blind high damage targets far away, it can be blocked by enemies up close. Heightened Senses passively grants Quinn bonus attack speed whenever she attacks a target marked by Harrier. When activated, Valor flies up to reveal the surrounding area. Note that this reveal is not extremely long range and works best for revealing enemies lurking nearby. You should still buy wards. Vault causes Quinn to dash to target enemy, damaging and slowing it before leaping back off. Vaulting to an enemy will also mark it with Harrier. If Vault is used close up, Quinn will disengage from her target and leap back to full attack range. If used from farther away, Quinn will vault as though she's chasing an enemy and actually end up closer than she was before. Tag Team is their ultimate. When cast, Valor swoops in and replaces Quinn on the battlefield, attacking from melee range, augmenting all their basic abilities, and granting massive bonus movement speed. If Valor enters combat, this movement speed decays down to a lower bonus, but returns after exiting combat. At the end of Tag Team's duration, or when reactivated, Quinn uses Sky Strike, returning to the battlefield in a hail of arrows that damages all nearby enemies, dealing bonus damage to those low on health. When playing as Valor, Blinding Assault damages and blinds all enemies nearby, instead of flying out in a line. When playing as Valor, Heightened Senses passively grants even more attack speed than normal all the time, as the passive Harrier is disabled during Tag Team. The active effect is unchanged and still reveals the surrounding area. When playing as Valor, Vault dashes the target enemy, damaging and slowing your foe, but not marking or leaping off the target afterward. In early laning, Quinn should look to attack champions who've been marked by Harrier. Here, Quinn trades with Draven, leading with Blinding Assault and landing a basic attack, dropping him to two-thirds health without even taking anything in return. However, enemies can see the Harrier mark and will often back off, relying on a teammate to counterattack her. Lux lands an attack as Quinn chases Ezreal, and then Ezreal hits Quinn when she targets Lux. Quinn players should be aware of their surroundings and not get caught up in the pursuit. When enemies come to gank Quinn, she should first get between the ganker and safety, then use Vault as a gap opener to propel herself away from danger while simultaneously slowing her assailant. Then she can land an easy basic attack for extra damage thanks to the mark from Harrier. Vault is also an amazing tool for securing kills. Nami lands Aqua Prison, so Quinn follows up with Vault as a gap closer, which slows Ezreal and allows her to keep attacking. Quinn chases and uses Flash to pick up the kill. To get some quick attack speed, hit something with Vault and then attack it. Vault instantly applies the mark from Harrier, allowing Quinn to gain bonus attack speed via heightened senses. This is the best way to clear out jungle camps or minion waves quickly. Their assassination potential really spikes up at level 6. Tag Team grants a burst of movement speed and Vault pins down Lux. Despite being exhausted, Quinn puts out more damage by casting Sky Strike early to burst her down. Now in ranged form, Blinding Assault and basic attacks kill Ezreal without needing to enter the turret's attack range. Lux is low enough that Nami dives the turret to take her down as well. Quinn has both great upfront damage and chasing ability to follow up ganks in her lane. She puts out early pressure with Harrier and Vault, causing Ezreal to run with Arcane Shift and Flash. However, Tag Team allows Valor to quickly close the gap and gets right back into range, picking up the kill with Sky Strike. Even if none of Quinn's teammates are in range to deal any damage, Valor can still make that happen. Vi and Nami look to dive Ezreal, but it's Tag Team into Vault that closes the gap and locks him down. Heightened Senses is then used to make sure no enemies are lurking nearby, and they pick up a quick kill. I recommend building Quinn and Valor with a primary focus on physical damage output, with a little bit of durability added for the laning phase. Try attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist glyphs, and attack damage quintessences. I recommend 2190 masteries, taking all the physical damage increasing masteries in offense, plus health and armor in defense. Barrier, cleanse, and flash are great summoner spells for Quinn and Valor, helping them survive tough fights and come out ahead.
Thanks for tuning in to the Quinn and Valor Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.